Hey everyone, I'm Kyle with Ledger. Um, I wanted to give you a quick answer to a question I get all the time, which is, how do I set up MetaMask with my Ledger? Um, it's actually not as hard as you think. Um, I think you it, people have heard a lot of horror stories about this, but really it is as simple as going to metamask.io, getting a link to the Chrome, Chrome Web Store, I'm doing a full setup from scratch here. Um, let's go ahead and add the extension. Um, it should pop up here once it's done. It'll download, open, install. It's just like installing any other Chrome extension. Um, and once it's done, you will get, there you go. And uh, annoying, an annoying thing that happens is as soon as you dismiss this, it'll go into this little puzzle piece menu. I like to pin it just so MetaMask stays outside. Okay. Now that MetaMask is installed, you'll get this thing to automatically pop up. This is MetaMask's getting started window. Um, this is a common place for people to do something wrong. Um, and I'll, sh I'll show you why. So it says, welcome to MetaMask, get started. You're given two options here. You're given an option that says, it says new to MetaMask. Um, yes, let's get set up. Or no, I already have a secret recovery phrase. There's actually a third option here that's not very clear, which is, Yes, I'm new to MetaMask, but I have a ledger. So if you're a ledger user, you're actually going to pick something maybe a little bit unintuitive here. You're going to pick let, let's get set up. Yes, let's get set up. And what's going to happen is what we're doing here is we're having MetaMask generate you a, uh, a seed phrase that you're just not going to use. Um, just, just the way MetaMask was built is that it needs to have a, a recovery phrase sort of at, like at its core. And because you're a Ledger user, your secret recovery phrase is in your Ledger device. You don't share that with MetaMask. It never leaves your Ledger. Um, so the, the way you could go wrong is by you know putting your recovery phrase that's backed up on secure hardware and putting it into your Chrome web browser, which is obviously not a good idea. Um, so we picked, yes, let's get set up. Agreed out MetaMask. I'll, I'll share my data with them. Um, I'll make a password. I actually don't care if it's super... Um, secure because this password is not protecting my secrets. My ledger is protecting my secrets. Um, and that's the key difference here between using MetaMask as your primary wallet and using a ledger device as your primary wallet. Okay, I just click next to this. I actually don't care to see the secret recovery phrase. Um, actually, just as to prove a point, I will show you my secret recovery phrase. The reason why I'm doing this is I wanna make it super clear that this recovery phrase I am not using. I don't care what it is. This is not like this is not my account. I will in the second here we're going to be adding our ledger accounts. So I'll say remind me later, just because I don't want to go through the quiz. And you'll see it drops me on account one. Um, account one is the account that I don't want to use. This is the MetaMask default account. Consider this to be an unsafe, you know, relatively unsafe account. Um, now that we have MetaMasks at a sort of a, a neutral state, we're going to go here. Um, you can do this either from the expanded view, which you'll, be end, which you'll end up on, but if for some reason you close it, this and this are actually one and the same. Um, if you just click the little MetaMask icon, it's like this and this are just expanded versions of one another. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to this little account picker, and one of the options here is connect hardware wallet. And this is where the real magic happens. This is a mechanism where MetaMask and Ledger can talk to one another. Um, so one thing you'll want to do is whenever you're using um, MetaMask, your Ledger should just be on and open on the Ethereum app. MetaMask is a very Ethereum virtual machine focused uh, browser extension. So the Ethereum app is the app that you always run on your Ledger during all of this. So pick a Ledger. Um, it'll give you some instructions here. If there's anything that goes wrong at this point, this is a good place to debug that is this connection flow. Um, MetaMask pops up and says, I want to connect to a USB device, a human interface device. Sounds good. Um, we'll click connect. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask the ledger, hey, ledger, what accounts do you have on you? And uh, you'll see here that it, it grabbed a couple of accounts, including this one, which has some ether in it. That looks like a good one. I'll select it. You can select others if you'd like. Um, if you need more accounts, you can come back here and add more. But I'll just add this one. Click unlock. And now they, I have this account called Ledger One that is the account that's rep, that's backed up by my Ledger's seed phrase. I never shared any secrets with MetaMask and I'll never share these secrets with websites. But what I'm doing is I'm importing the account that exists on this Ledger into MetaMask. So this is it. Now MetaMask is set up. If you'll see if I click this icon here, 
MetaMask is set up with two accounts. Account one, which I will not use. Um, I could even quickly come in here, account details and say like, do not use. This is the default MetaMask one. It's an unsafe account. And now I have Ledger one. Um, so here you go. Now let's prove that I've I've successfully connected this. Let's go to OpenSea, uh, which is a, a place I just like to use for testing things. Click this little wall on the top. Um, it actually still has me signed in from a previous tutorial. So let me just log out. Yep, Meta, that was the Wallet Connect tutorial. Um, it will let me sign out, please. And let me refresh. Maybe that was what the missing piece was. Nope, still remembers me. Yep, yep, Wallet Connect, I gotcha. All right, OpenSea, there we go. Okay, now we're on OpenSea. This is a good place to test some things. This is what you'll get when you go to OpenSea for the first time, it'll be signed out. And, um, and then we're gonna try to connect with MetaMask because now we have MetaMask installed and our Ledger account added. Um, when you click MetaMask, this little browser window pops up, you'll get very familiar with this. Um, I'm going to connect my Ledger One account with OpenSea. And what that's going to do is going to share that account information with the website, much like what we did with Wallet Connect. It does the same kind of thing. And there you go. I am connected again. Um, it's populating my profile. And here's a fun way to test that the interaction is working. When you go to Meta, uh, when you go to OpenSea's settings menu, it actually has you do a sign-in flow which involves signing this message with your ledger that it has in Welcome to OpenSea. Um, what this is, is this is OpenSea challenging you to say, prove that you own that account by cryptographically signing my message. And so that's that's why it lets you into this more sensitive section, the, the settings section of OpenSea is, so here, this is MetaMask popping up with a message saying, sign this thing. And when I click sign, what it's actually going to do is it's going to pass that message down into the ledger to do a cryptographically secure sign. And so you'll see the ledger uh, woke up, it says sign message, go through, message hash. This is a blind sign because like, what is this message? I don't know what I'm signing. This this is a situation where dangerous things could occur if you don't understand what this is. And this is sort of highlighting some of the dangers of blind signing. But I know that this is OpenSea's login request. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign it. Boop. Okay, I have signed it and now OpenSea has let me into my profile. So there you go. I just uh, installed MetaMask from scratch, added my Ledger account to it, and um, logged into OpenSea. Hope that helped. Give it a try. Thanks.